All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. All right, guys. Notice any difference with the gasifier? You should, because if you've been watching anyway, you should, because I moved the hopper and the hearth zone out of my old barrel and put it in a propane tank. I did that because of a catastrophic explosion in this barrel um, due to poor sealing, I believe. And it left the lid completely destroyed and bent up, so there was uh, really bad um, sealing issues. So air was getting in, so I had to move it to this propane tank, uh, which I think is also kind of a better thing because this propane tank has a lot less volume to it than that gasifier or than that uh barrel so my explosion my explosions the if i can talk today will be uh a lot less violent in theory the explosion that destroyed that one um was so i don't know spectacular that it blew the door off there off the ash blew the ash door off there all the way down to where the front wheel of the truck is that's about i'd say 20 yards it blew that door off there and it sounded like five shotguns going off at once. Uh, haven't even added an ash door on there yet. I uh, don't know quite how I'm going to do that. But uh, I figure it can uh, fill up at least 20 inches before I have to clean it out anyway. So that'll be a few a few test runs in. Um, I s did a, a test with the blower to see if it was all airtight and everything. And it is. There is less air coming out of the blower than ever, um, meaning that there is, and by that I mean uh, basically none. Like, I turn it on to the highest setting, and I can like barely feel it going through my fingers, barely. Uh, like someone's speaking onto your fingers, basically, from like three inches away is the best way I can describe it. So anyway, the sun's going down. I'm about to cut to the test run. It's going to be on hardwood pellets instead of. Um, the wood bark, like I said last video, because I just want to see how my new unit works. And I've never seen what color flame it is out of my filters, so I need to see that. So I'll cut to probably when I have it all lit up and everything. So today I'm running on oak pellets, uh, so stick around for the test run and thanks for watching. Alright guys, we have ignition down here. It's a bluish orange flame. It's an orange flame with a blue center. So I'm going to take this blower and move it over to the to make it go through the filters. All right, guys, we're about, I'd say, seven or eight minutes into the test run, and I have the blower coming off of the filters. I know my gasifier is probably not up to temperature yet because of how quickly I moved it there, but uh, I don't know, I just got excited or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this torch up there and see how it lights. Turn the torch up first. All right. See what color this flame is once and for all. Looks a little bit orange with a little bit blue in the center. And I see tar or condensation dripping out of there, which is not good. So I guess I'll just let that go. And uh kind of orange yeah it's basically orange and there's definitely blue in the center of it try to get a closer look there's the blue there's the orange and there's tar dripping out on fire that that tar I believe probably is just coming out of the blower that blower is absolutely full of tar I don't think it's making it all the way through the system and getting out to the blower because uh, that blower is literally dripping with tar everywhere I carry it. Just from, uh, yeah, and the tar is going away right now. The fire from the tar is going away. So I think it just burned the tar out of the, melted the tar out of the blower and burned it off. So I'm seeing an uh, inner core of blue on that flame and an outer area of 
just pure pumpkin orange, basically. Um, definitely blue in there, though, so I guess that's good. I don't know what the orange is. Maybe one of you guys can tell me how this flame, uh, how to judge my quality of my gas off the flame you see here. So, uh, that's burning it with oak wood, or mostly oak hardwood pellets. Um, and it's probably, it's less than 15 minutes after startup, after my first match was lit, I guess. And that's the first time I've run it through the blower, I mean through the filters. So. Alright, so I just shook the shaker grate and my flame got humongous. Uh, and for a minute it got a lot more blue, I think. Uh, pretty interesting. I don't know what that's from exactly. Uh, I'll figure it out. It's probably about 30 minutes into the test run right now and it's going strong. Uh, very. The flame looks yellow in the video, but it's actually orange and a blue metal. Orange flame with a blue core, so... Uh, if any of you guys can tell me what that means, if that's good to run into an engine, or if that needs more filters, or what, whatever that means, I would appreciate that if you put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know if my... Um, blower is turned up too high, too low. I don't know any about anything about that just yet. I don't know if I need to shake my shaker grate right now, uh, but I'll probably just go ahead and fiddle around with it for a while and uh, just in the test run right now. My next video will be uh, running on um, uh, pieces of bark that I collected off of dead trees. Nothing but dead bark. So let's, we'll see how good that works as fuel. We'll use this as kind of like a baseline. This is how my gas fire works with uh, decent quality wood pellets and I guess we'll see how it works with some uh, dead wood bark next video so stay tuned for that subscribe and thanks for watching